This is a test of the eye door. Uh, what should we do first here? We've got some hinges on there. This is the edge profiles. It's set at none right now. Test A, B. I just put in some random profiles. These are all radii. And then we get down to a fancier, schmancier one. Now we have a left-handed drill pattern right now. Set it at none, disappears. Set it at right. And this sometimes looks a little goofy. Didn't that time though. Okay, now we'll do the size. First we'll check the limits by putting these at four and four. Which should and it did automatically put each one at 6.9375, uh, which is their lower limits. Might as well check the upper. Uh, we'll check the upper later. Okay, we'll bring the width back to, say, 18 inches, and do the height at about 12, and see what our hinges look like or hinge bores. I don't know if you've seen that, but they changed just a tad. Let's go to 10. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, the offset between the edge and the center of the cup bore is two and a quarter inches um, below roughly 11. And then it increases to three and a half for all other sizes. So if I put this at 13, you can see that it switched to the bigger size. This uh, profile looks a little gaudy for me, so I'm going to change it. That's a little gaudy too, but uh, we'll just change it again. All right, now the next rule comes in I'm not sure where it is. These, none of these are my uh, settings. I just grabbed them from a door manufacturer online, and that would be good if you if you have a designer who doesn't um, know what the limits are. It's kind of nice to have everything built in, so you don't have to think about it. It's, it can't be set cor incorrectly. Okay, 24 still gives us two hinges at that same spacing. 48, I think, is right around where it jumps to three hinges. And if I go to 120, which is way too big for a cabinet door, um, the maximum height kicks in and changes it down to 96. Um, they don't sell doors over 96. And that brings up the four four hole pattern. So you pretty much can't set it wrong. 66 I think would probably give us three. Yep. And then as far as width goes, they didn't have a max width. So I put it at, well actually I put it at 48, so if I go to 50, it stops at 48, which is too, too big. I also got another feature in here. These are all settable so that you can make end panels and other stuff out of this. So if I set the bottom rail at 4, and let's just say we're setting all these at three. Bottom, bottom rail is at four. The styles are both at three, and the top rail is at three. Now, because of the size of these, if I reduce the size down to its minimum, it would actually be too small because I don't have enough field um, 
left over because of the width of the rails and the styles. So if I go to 4 and 4, there's a rule in there that automatically set them all to 2 so that it can't fail. Um, you would never have them size panels or size rails and styles on a on a little thing like this and hopefully you would never make a little door like this but I've done it already um, at a place where I worked we made little tiny uh, vanity drawer fronts that were raised panels about this size so it does happen um, then we got the left and right handed switches it over or removes the drilling altogether if it's going to be an end panel. So if we went uh, 24 by 36 and then change this to say 4 it all depends on how you build your cabinets, but we used to do something similar to this for uh, end panels. I think these were a little bit uh, wider, the, the top rail and the, and the styles. Hard to remember. And then this would be notched for the kick. And that's about it. That is the IDOR. It's got all the rules it needs right now. Um, I could have done as many profiles as I had, but I have no profiles to start with, so I didn't do that. But easily can. Um, I'm not sure what other functionality I'm going to add to this. Uh, some of the functionality that it's going to have will be driven by the cabinet itself. This will be a part of a cabinet, or a pair of them will be part of a cabinet, and it will uh, get its uh, get its instructions directly from the cabinet. So that's it for now.